Now we're at 745 and it's time for today's News Extra brought to you by First State Bank. And here's Kevin Booney. Thank you, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. Yesterday we had folks from Bayard here to talk about the uh, Volunteer Fire Department's uh, STAG and all the things they're doing. And this time we had more people travel a little ways. Uh, some folks from Morrill, as a matter of fact. Tracy Margheim and Cami Smith, they are with the Morrill Elementary Parent Teachers Organization. And uh, Cami, you guys are going to have your biggest fundraiser this weekend, right? That's correct. We'll be hosting our annual PTO Pity Carnival this Saturday, April 6th, from 5 to 8 p.m. at the elementary gym there in Morrill. We have a ton of booths. We have about 20 booths, including a concessions that's available for kids and parents alike to grab some snacks while they go and play. We have a big raffle this year, as always. Tickets are always available for that in advance, as well as the night of. Tons of stuff going on, lots of fun to be had by all. The kids always have a blast. Sometimes I think the parents have more fun, and we sure have a lot of fun putting it together and getting it going and watching the kids and their big smiles on their faces. Yep. Uh, all right. So you got, uh, you said 20 booths, right? Yeah, that includes the concessions. So okay. about 19 booths where kids can go and play. Every booth has a prize. Um, there's actually just a couple booths that don't. We have a dance party that the kids have more fun dancing than winning anything, and then we'll have yeah. a couple bounce houses this year. But everything else, you never really walk away empty-handed. Yep, you have a cakewalk. We do have a cakewalk. That's and always a huge hit. you got to have a cakewalk if you're in you, a penny carnival, You do. Right? I think the parents actually have more fun at the cakewalk uh, yeah. than the kids do. Yeah, yeah. parents are always in the cakewalk. And you have a, you have Plinko games. We do. That is a new booth to us this year. Um, one of our members and her husband actually are building that for us this year. So we'll be able to do that in the future as well. And then we had some bounce houses that we were able to obtain from a local business on donation and other. And so just some new fresh stuff that some people will be seeing. And those who are new, we hope you come out and see all of our other old stuff plus new stuff. All right. 5 to 8 p.m. on Saturday evening. We'll hand the mic over to Tracy here. All right, now, uh, Cammy mentioned that uh, you have advanced ticket, you have advanced ticket sales for both the raffles and the actual tickets to be in the Penny Carnival. Right? Yes, yep, that's right. We have advanced ticket sales for um, the actual booths that will be going on Thursday and Friday. That happens at the elementary um, school from two to three thirty. You can purchase mm -hmm. tickets, um, twelve tickets for five dollars, and so you save a dollar, you get two free tickets. And you can also get those tickets the night of the carnival, and those are 50 cents each. And our booths um, basically cost about there one ticket a, a booth, that's 50 cents, or there's a, a few that are two tickets. And then we have the fifth and sixth graders that are um, selling the advanced raffle tickets, and those are a dollar a piece. And we have um, generous donations from businesses from Torrington to Scotts Bluff. Um, tons of gift certificates, um, logos here in Gearing. They donated a, a, a um, lion's zip-up jacket with a polo that's embroidered with more lions. We have a $75 gift certificate from Shooting Star Photography and um, a very generous donation here from KNEB. It's a, a Deadwood trip that's valued at $280. You get your your night stay and, and meals and, and a little bit of play money as yeah. well. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah. It's pretty nice. I've done it. It's not bad. It's a good time. So, all right, let's take a break real quick, and uh, then we'll get right back and talk to these ladies a little more about the Morrill Elementary Penny Carnival. Thinking of a new car, think of us for your okay. auto loan. Do we have we any more to say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a talker. Sure, I can fill in we can talk about it. We got lots more to talk about. We can talk about, uh, okay, you talked about some of this stuff. We can talk more about that, what you use the money for. Okay. Maybe um, more Um, yeah, and I'll. We're going to do the advanced ticket sales on booth till Thursday, right? We extended it a day, is that right? All right, we are back on News Extra. We have Tracy Margheim and Cammie Smith here. They're talking about the uh, Morrill Elementary Penny Carnival. And it's coming up on uh, April 6th. That's this Saturday from 5 to 8 over at the Morrill Elementary School. 
and uh, well, they got tons of stuff for raffles. How many how many prizes do you have for raffles, Cammy? At last count, we had 134, and that oh. was my last count this weekend. And it seems like daily we're accumulating more. I just can't even express how thankful we are for all of our generous donators and volunteers. From all over, right? Yeah, all over. We have. Businesses in Torrington, Morrill, Lyman, Henry, Mitchell, Scottsbluff, Gearing, just all over the area. Yeah. We are just blown away by the response we've had and the generosity of our community and and our volunteers that are helping with the night of. I just can't even express. We do a lot of behind the scenes work to get this prepared, but they do a lot of the front hand action work. So we're grateful for them and we couldn't do it without the generosity of our parents and teachers and community members. and. So we're very appreciative of that. All right, you can get those raffle tickets. They're a dollar a piece. The fifth and sixth graders are selling them in advance, and they're doing that. Uh, well, you can get them at the at, during the carnival, but if you want to get them in advance, you can do that, right? That's right. Yes, um, we always have our fifth and sixth graders at the elementary do pre-sale raffle tickets, and they're a dollar a piece. We um, actually are going to extend it because of the holiday weekend being last weekend. Tickets will be available in advance through Friday. And if you don't know a fifth or sixth grader at Moore Elementary, you can call the school, 247-2176, and they'll get you in touch with either a student or a way to get tickets in advance. But they will be available the night of. They're a dollar a piece. Our advanced booth ticket sales will be Thursday and Friday at the elementary, and then the booth tickets will be available the night of as well. All right. Now, Tracy, you guys have uh, done a lot of things with this uh, money that you get from the uh, Penny Carnival uh, and with the school and everything. Uh, explain what type of things you've done in the past. Mm -hmm. Yep, we've been able to um, do school improvements um, where it's any kind of playground improvement. We've done things for the kids during Christmas. Um, we do t teacher appreciation for the, the, um, the teachers during parent-teacher conferences. Um, just tons of stuff. We've did a donation for the football field that's being um, in the process of revamping and, and having a new location for the football season. Um, so we were able to donate to improve that. Um, yeah, just a lot of stuff that goes back into the school for the, the parents, the teachers, and the students. All right. That new football field. You guys like eight-man football, apparently, you were saying. You like it a little better than the 11-man? You got First of all, you're more competitive at eight-man. Yes. Right. And secondly, it's fast. Yeah, huh? it is. are a little bit quicker, and they're, I like watching the, the eight-man a lot more. So, yeah, yeah, it's a good thing. Yeah, okay. Very good. Well, you guys have done a wonderful job with this. Uh, just tons of, How many years have you been doing this carnival, Penny Carnival? Do you have any idea? How many years? I suppose you guys are co-chairs this year, but have you been... This is our second year being um, co-chairs, and gosh, I remember my daughter's in eighth grade, and, and it's been going on at least nine years that I can remember. I remember in elementary going to the Penny Carnival yeah. myself, yeah. so it's been years and years that we've had the Penny Carnival available. It's a huge fundraiser for our organization. It's a great way to get our community together, and parents and kids have something to do together, and... It's just a lot of fun had by all. All right. Once again, Saturday evening, 5 to 8 p.m. over at the Morrill Elementary School, the Morrill Elementary Penny Carnival. So check it out this Saturday evening. We appreciate Tracy Margheim and Cammie Smith coming here from Morrill and telling us all about it. Thank you. Thank you.